Bud Kyrie syndrome is a rare cause of portal hypertension and liver failure. The disease is characterized by impaired hepatic venous drainage. The causative lesion can be located at any portion, from the hepatic veins, to the upper portion of the inferior vena cava. Bud Kyrie syndrome is commonly classified into primary and secondary. Primary Bud Kyrie syndrome is caused by venous obstruction that is mostly due to hepatic vein thrombosis and less frequently due to hepatic vein stenosis. Secondary Bud Kyrie syndrome is caused by hepatic vein obstruction due to external compression by a tumor or by an infectious process. Hepatic venous obstruction causes elevated sinusoidal pressure and liver congestion. When hepatic venous obstruction develops in more than one hepatic vein, at different time intervals, atrophic liver segments can be found adjacent to hypertrophic segments. The presence of atrophic and hypertrophic hepatic segments is called hepatic dysmorphism. The most characteristic feature of hepatic dysmorphism is irregular liver contour. Ultrasound features of Bud Kyrie syndrome is classified into direct signs, including hepatic vein thrombosis and hepatic vein stenosis. And indirect signs, including parenchymal changes, morphologic changes, regenerating nodules, portal hypertension, intra- and extra-hepatic collaterals. Hepatic vein thrombosis can be total or partial, focal or extensive, and may involve one or more hepatic veins. On ultrasound, acute thrombosis is hypoechoic and associated with expansion of the vessel lumen. On color Doppler ultrasound, no flow seen in the thrombose segment. In chronic stage, thrombosed hepatic vein results in formation of a hyperechoic fibrotic cord as seen in this image. Hepatic vein stenosis is less common than thrombosis. Like thrombosis, stenosis can involve one or several hepatic veins. It may be focal or diffuse, partial or complete, and most commonly affect the osteal segments of hepatic veins. On color Doppler ultrasound, stenosis manifested by aliasing effect and turbulent flow with loss of the normal triphasic cardiac modulation as you can see in this image. During the early stage of the disease, venous congestion is evident, resulting in a hyperechoic appearance of the liver on ultrasound. Later on, in chronic stage of disease, in addition to the hepatic congestion, fibrosis is present and leading to cirrhosis. In Bud Kyrie syndrome, the liver undergoes morphologic changes during the course of the disease. In the acute stage, the liver is enlarged with homogeneous echo pattern and a smooth contour. During chronic stage, atrophic and hypertrophic areas may coexist, giving a dysmorphic appearance of the liver with irregular margins. Areas that have been affected become atrophic, while healthy areas undergo compensatory hypertrophy. Caudate lobe hypertrophy is a frequently noted morphological sign in Bud Kyrie syndrome. Regenerating nodules are the hallmark of chronic Bud Kyrie syndrome. They are commonly multiple and variable in size. On ultrasound, regenerating nodules may be hypo or hyperechoic, as seen on this image. Other indirect signs of Bud Kyrie syndrome are intra- and extrahepatic collateral vessels. The development of intrahepatic collaterals allows draining venous blood from the obstructed areas to preserved areas of the liver to the upper portion of the inferior vena cava. In addition to cavocaval collaterals that characterize Bud Kyrie syndrome, portosystemic collaterals may occur, similar to those seen in portal hypertension. In acute stage, there is ascites and reverse portal blood flow. However, in chronic stage of the disease, splenomegaly is a common finding, with reverse portal blood flow. Thank you very much for your attention.